Many believe your spine is the key to good health and it starts with chiropractic medicine. Dr. Kent Osmond joins us today to talk about some of the things, big and small, that can, you can do to keep your spine aligned and uh, we welcome you to the program. Welcome, doctor. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. Last time we described about the basics of chiropractic. Yes. And the, uh, the first four things when two are the same is that the body should help itself and heal itself. Two, that the nervous system is the master of all the other systems. So chiropractic says, well, if they're the master, let's look at nerves Well, let's first. talk about that first. And that's, that's my first question. The spine really is a healing mechanism and it controls every aspect of the body, doesn't it? Correct. In what way, in layman's terms, why should we be concerned about the spine being so healthy uh, with regard to the rest of us? Well, I don't deal just with the spine, even though some chiropractors do. Mm -hmm. Uh, I deal with wherever nerves go, and we right. say, who needs chiropractic? Anybody who has nerves or a spine, as you say. Now, why? If you had a $5 million computer and no battery and no cord, it's worthless to you. So same with the electrical sy system of the body. If the nerves are not flowing through a section or a subluxation, then that part of the body is not working as well. That is interesting. You also talk about structure versus function. What is that about? Well, in, in biology and in science and chemistry, which is my first degree in chemistry, structure affects function. Mm -hmm. For example, if you had oval tires on your car, right. it's not going to work the same as if they were round. Pretty soon you're going to have a rattling trunk. You know, these are wonderful analogies because you can make sense of what it is you're exactly talking about. So it's so important that everything be aligned, but people look at chiropractic sometimes and they say, well, I don't really need that. They call you, uh, you know, back crackers and so on. But it really is an important uh, area of medicine because, as you mentioned, if you don't have proper flow through the spine, then you're really not aligned. Correct, and you keep using the word medicine. We prefer not to use that in chiropractic Why? because we're not using a medicine. We believe that the body has all that it needs within itself. We believe that we should put nothing in and take nothing out, that the full pharmacy and everything is in the body. If it goes beyond that, that's when it's time for medical. Now, before I sat down and during the commercial break, you were doing some quick uh, tests on me. Can you tell from shaking somebody's hand or grabbing their shoulder what kind of condition their spine is in? Well, I say to people, you know, if your, your hairdresser who's been doing it a long time knows exactly when one hair <laughs> is out. Yes, I've been doing it for 18 years, so I kind of tend to see patterns that, that may not be to a novice. And what I saw with you is that one of your shoulders is not functioning as well as the other. Not, so, not aligned. Not aligned. So let's look at the shoulder you blade. You brought your skeleton with you. Yes, Mr. Great. Calcium again. <laughs> and if you see that the arm or the humerus sits into the joint of the scapula or the, right. or the shoulder blade, as you will. Right. Oop, there we go. Shoulder blade, as you will. So if this shoulder blade is not sitting right, then the shoulder is not going to sit right. So if I could have a wide shot. If the shoulder is sitting right, then the, the body can function. No pressing on the wires or the nerves. But if the scapula or the shoulder blade is off and it sh sends you in this direction, then the shoulder okay. can't move the way it should. And I'll show Let's you. Let's stand up and do a test. Let's We're going to stand you. up now because I'm going to be the test, uh, the right. guinea pig. And as this it is were. under Dr. Mitch Malley's work, okay, which now, I was very grateful to learn of. You were testing my left shoulder yes, where you I thought was. there was a concern. Right. Okay, so now, here we, we go. We said that nerves control everything. Yes. So I used the muscles or applied kinesiology by Dr. Goodhart right. to test if the nerve's getting through. And if I tell you to hold this arm, hold, this hold arm. real hard, there you go. and you're able to hold it. I'm able to hold because it. Because you're getting the message from here to here. It's getting through the skull, through the okay. neck, through the shoulder. All right. But on this side, this side, hold it real hard, and it's just quite not as good. Well, is this because I'm right-handed and you're pushing down my left arm? It is not, because okay. I've seen it happen every which way. And when we finish with this, you'll right. see that this is different. All right, so what you are, we, are trying, right? I am trying. Right. So and what are we going to do holding. to rectify that? Now, what, what the other test under right. Mitch Malley is to see how well this works. Lift this to I'm the sky. I'm lifting it up. There you go. All right, so that goes about this high, which okay. is not that good. But we'll try this <laughs> side. Lift, Sorry to hear that. Lift. All right. And that's not that good either. Wow. So, All right. Uh, to not to show you the I'm, one I'm worried about this though. This one of 200 me right here. styles of chiropractic. This is under Corin technique. This one just merely shoots. Okay. All right. So put this it's safe, here. right? It's safe, right? If it wasn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this on live television. All right. Well, I'm, I'm concerned. So now I'm pushing the shoulder blade. Okay. We can see. Shoulder All right. Blade there you go. Forward and inward. All right. Okay. And then shooting the humerus back into place. Okay. And of course, when that's blocked, sometimes the collarbone is blocked. Right. Now, I could have done this by hand. Oh, but you did it with the machine. It. I right. could have done it by hand. All right. Put this in. Okay. All right. So now let's see. If the nerve is getting through, okay. hold real hard. 
There you go. Very good. Now try it over here. Here we Lift go. Up. I'm higher. Little better than that side. Maybe after the show we'll fix the other side Can I too. get the machine? Are you selling this? No, we can't. It's FDA approved and only doctors can have All it. Right, let's I don't think you can hurt yourself with it, but... Let's sit down for a moment. Let's talk about how folks can find out from chiropractic medicine where they should go. Right. Uh, you know, should well, they... Well, let me first they, talk about this. We have a this. minute, though. Yeah, one should minute. we go regularly? Let me talk about this. You didn't know you had a problem. No, I did not. So as I said in the dental model, if you have a cavity and don't know it, right. doesn't mean you don't have a cavity. When you get to the point where that cavity becomes hurtful, it's a little too late. So chiropractors can catch things before they happen that this won't lead to a frozen shoulder so later. So it's important to have regular chiropractic examinations and not just go once a year and say, I'm set, because things happen, obviously. You fall, you trip, you twitch your back. Or you pick up luggage. Or you or, pick up luggage or, or something like that. Or you miss a step and something gets a jar. And as long as something is not, um, is not uh, aligned well, the nerve can't get through well, that part of the body is not going to work as well and start to strain. And later you'll get to feel the pain. So how many times would you recommend that somebody go to a chiropractor to have proper spine health and make sure that everything's aligned? That's a great question, but that's an individual basis and based on chiropractic styles. For me, I get adjusted every week, but that's not feasible for most people. Some people come every two weeks, every three weeks, every four weeks, I say, or every season, I say, or every time you change your batteries on your smoke okay. detector, or every New Year's at least. We have run out of time, Dr. Osborne. Thank good. you so much, a pleasure. And my, next time my, we'll do the low back and the neck. My left arm is feeling better already.